If you didn't know, there's a number of buffs you can get in Elden Ring that greatly boost your damage, except a lot of these buffs can actually stack together and can result in some crazy damage for whatever build you have, but particularly for spell builds. And in this video, we're going to show you guys a lot of the different buffs that you can stack together to do some disgusting damage. We'll start it off with the Commander's Standard. This is a weapon that requires at least 24 strength and 14 dex, but it has a really great ability attached to it where you hoist the war banner aloft and give a rallying command that raises both the defense and attack powers for yourself and nearby allies. This is dropped by Commander O'Neill upon his defeat. You can find him in the Eastern Kaelid area. It's in the Aeonia Swamp. It's in this sort of circle part of the map. Make sure to defeat him and you'll get this grace point and you'll get the weapon. Next up is the Howl of Shabriri. It is a faith incantation. You do a shriek to build up madness in nearby foes, but it has an unlisted damage bonus of around 25%. It doesn't need 33 faith to use it, but it can be found in the stone tower named the Frenzy Flaming Tower, just north of the Frenzied Flame Village outskirts Grace Point. This is a great one to use and is an extra buff that we can stack onto ourselves. The next buff is Terra Magicus, which puts a sigil on the ground that raises the magic strength of any people who stand within it. It's found in the Academy Crystal Cave, right next to the Crystalline Woods Grace Point, and requires you to use an imp key to open it, and then go all the way through and defeat the Crystalline bosses at the end. Once you beat them, it leads to a tower that leads inside the Academy, and on top of this tower has a chest which contains this spell. Next up is a really good Ash of War buff, it's called the Royal Knight's Resolve, you hold your armament up to your face and pledge your resolve, which greatly empowers your next attack. The catch is as a spellcaster that your spells don't count as an attack, but they do get the bonus, so this will buff ourselves without going away until the timer runs out. You'll get this one deep in the Volcano Manor, starting from the Temple of Eagle, progress until you see the chapel full of lizards, circle around the stairs, and then you will see a door blocked by an imp statue. Use a key and then make your way down carefully to the very bottom, run to the east side of the room and loot the body on the floor which will have this Ash of War. And then next we have the Wanderous Physic Mix, which will be the Magic Shrouded Cracked Tear, as well as Azure's Glintstone Crown. In one of our previous videos that you can see on the screen now, we already showed you how to get the Comet Azure spell, as well as the Infinite FP Crystal Tear. So once you've already collected this, you need to finish the Sorceress Selene's questline, go back to Azure's location, where he will now be missing, but his armor will be on the floor where he was for you to take. The helmet specifically will make your spells consume more FP, but further boost the spell Comet Azure. To find the Magic Shrouded Cracked Tear, you're going to need to kill the Erdtree Avatar in the northeast of Lyurnia by the Minor Erdtree. This new tier will give a massive boost to our magic stats, so if you already have around 60 or 80 on the soft cap for Int, then this tier will actually be better than the Int Not Tier. With all of these buffs and items together, you can stack them one by one before engaging a monster or a boss to do devastating damage and basically become the boss yourself. If you plan to gather any of these items, let us know in the comments down below, especially if you know of any extra items to further boost this. And of course, do subscribe or click the video on screen now because we have plenty more Elden Ring videos that we think you will really enjoy, like the one on the screen.